From the beginning of time, humans have always looked towards the sky for inspiration and guidance. There has been a fascination with birds, stars, gods, goddesses and other entities which seem to exist above us, and for many humans, a strong yearning to travel into space. Man has dreamt of flight since observing space and now it is time to become the space traveller. The future of space travel requires us to understand from where we came, to see where we are going. Several thousand years ago, philosophers Mosey and Lu Ban from China were looking to the wind for flight. They invented kites using silk and bamboo, allowing for the later development of communication, measuring distances, testing the wind, and lifting men. The invention of the kite brought with it the desire to fly. The first known attempts at flight were typically by leaping off towers, known as tower jumping, People in China, India and Europe first attempted flight this way. In 1670, Francesco Lana de Tarzi published a book that showed some interesting concepts. The concept of copper foil in a sphere with a vacuum would produce a vacuum airship. This is still not possible with today's materials. Francesco is recognized as the father of aeronautics, melding science and mathematics into aerial navigation. The Chinese are believed to have developed the first hot air device. The Chinese lantern using hot air from a candle can take flight and was first used for signalling. The hot air balloon achieved the first human lift and advanced to what we know of as the Zeppelin. The first attempts at flight in a heavier than air flying machine were made by more than just the Wright brothers. Most attempts failed, however, they were the stepping stones for what was to come later. The oldest airport, College Park, is still in operation today. Airplanes evolved rapidly through the century, from propeller to helicopter to jet aircraft, and most of that technology is used today. During the Second World War, Germany developed rockets that could go a limited distance. The basic rocket technology used then is still used today. The space race started with the Soviet Union and the USA in 1957 and led to many developments for the next step, the moon. The spacecraft assigned as Apollo 11 was the first spacecraft to have landed on the moon. The space shuttle operated at tremendous cost, burning the fuel proved to be wasteful and dangerous technology. The International Space Station, ISS, is a habitable artificial satellite that was assembled in low Earth orbit in 1998 with the use of the Space Shuttle, the ISS can often be seen with the naked eye from Earth. SpaceX, as a private aerospace producer and space transportation services company, was founded in 2002 by Elon Musk with the goal of reducing space transportation costs and enabling the colonization of Mars. SpaceX reuses the first stage of their primary rocket, Falcon 9, by vertical propulsive landings. Although, up to present time, it still uses the rocket fuel burning technology. Mehran Kesh has always said, the time for burning fuels is over, but did we need to start with that technology in the first place? Ancient cultures have suggested the use of an alternative means of transportation. With reference to possible plasma technology, you can go to New York from Brussels within two to five minutes. And most of this five minutes is actually uh, landing and getting up. Mehran Tavakoli Kesh was born in Iran in 1958. As the son of an X-ray engineer, he was introduced to the world of radiation and nuclear science at a very young age. In 1981, he graduated from Queen Mary, the University of London, as a nuclear engineer specialized in reactor technology system control. At that time, he developed a number of theoretical ideas related to more simple nuclear concepts and their applications. 
In 2002, he decided to finish the full design of his ideas about nuclear technology. This included the creation and control of gravity and energy by the use of nuclear materials in a clean and safe hydrogen reactor. Mehran Kesh introduced the concept of double magnetic fields to explain the magnetic and gravitational field of Earth. Unknown by the existing scientific community, he wrote a number of scientific papers in 2004 and sent them for peer review, such as the creation of black holes. When one of the persons performing the peer review used his information in public, he decided to draw back his papers and to concentrate further on building prototypes. Since the beginning of 2006, several prototypes of dynamic reactors have been built, some specifically designed to create hovering effects, similar to effects seen with magnetic levitation. Basic hovering effects have been achieved. 2007 brought the first flight test with radioactive material in which the patents describe the process of the field interactions. The main patent, gravitational and energy system, described the initial fundamental aspects of the plasma and uses. This was followed by the supplemental patent, Microplasma Reactors, where further uses and advancements were described. Mr. Kesh found himself in Iran in 2008 and was provided all the resources needed to create the first lift of a plasma reactor managed by the Iranian government. These special rotating gas reactors were used to control the plasma. To bring a deeper understanding, Mr. Kesh released the first book in 2009, The Universal Order of Creation of Matters, which contained many new concepts released to the public. This included the PMTIC plasma magnetic fields, initial fundamental plasma and plasma dilution technology used for space reactors. The plasma technology was further developed and it manifested in weight fluctuation in a controlled environment. MTIC 2010 introduced a new state of matter called GANS, an acronym for gas in nanosolid state. The GANS produces fields to be used in the operation of the spaceship. Advanced flight tests were performed in Iran with the guidance of Mr. Kesh and the newly designed systems. Mr. Kesh tells us you can't bring all the doctors with you in space. Medical research advanced in 2010 and is still being explored daily all around the world. The Cash Foundation has provided knowledge for dealing with many medical conditions in space. A great example of plasma technology used for peaceful process is the capturing of the USA drone over Iran in December 2011. This drone was touted as one of the most advanced drones of its day and was caught by Iran using plasma to disrupt the communications. Plasma absorbs fields and the drone uses radio fields for piloting, a natural aspect of the plasma, a barrier of fields. Book two, The Structure of the Light, was released in 2011. This book brought forward the understanding of the structure of light as a cylindrical plasma where the light is in possession of all magnetic field strengths. Book three, The Origin of the Universe, was published later in 2011. Mr. Kesh explained the further operation and interaction of different strengths of the same fields, which then leads to the creation of the universe. These three books bring forward a much deeper understanding of the plasma science that is applied worldwide by knowledge seekers and scientists in spaceship research and development. There were two conferences to release the space technology to governments in 2012. The first international presentation in April, Keshe Foundation invited representatives of every country to the first presentation of the plasma technology. The second international presentation in September, Keshe Foundation invited the nations of the world through their ambassadors and their leaders to attend a gathering at the Keshe Foundation Center in Nenove, Belgium. Space travel requires peace. The implementation of the plasma technology brings greater responsibility. In 2013, Mr. Kesh brought forward the World Peace Treaty. Signing of the peace treaty is a confirmation from yourself to your soul to act correctly in a peaceful manner. 
In 2014, knowledge seekers came together from around the world to learn from Mr. Kesh and many different experiments with reactors were performed, including improving the previously developed reactors to fit with the new knowledge, introduction of nano-coated reactors, multi-core GANS systems. The Spaceship Institute lab experiments were streamed live on the internet for all to see. SSI lab tests with reactors showed strong magnetic field pulses up to 129 Tesla and showed significant weight fluctuations. In December, an experiment was performed using reactors built by knowledge seekers from around the world. Italy, Germany and Canada were involved in field communication tests. The tests showed that fields can interact with each other no matter the distance or time, resulting in instant communication. In 2015, developments for space continued with different aspects of the plasma technology, such as in health, energy, and decontamination. In October of 2015, Mr. Kesh taught a popular week-long course called the Blueprint Teachings about how to build the Magrav power units. People from all over the world participated with building their own Magrav units and teaching others. With the demand of the Cash Foundation products from all over the world, a new research center and manufacturing opened in Arizona, USA. Many developments of the technology happened in different parts of the world, and Cash Foundation USA is no exception. John and the team started performing experiments using different sensing tools. These tools allowed the team to visualize the MoGrav fields and to show others their interactions. With reactor formations showing positive results, partaking in the knowledge together is easier and more joyful than ever. The fun has just begun, says M.T. Kesh. Mr. Kesh publicly teaches the space technology through the weekly Knowledge Seekers workshops. Plasma enthusiasts from around the world participate in gathering the knowledge and putting the puzzle together in the space race. All people, irrespective of race, nation or religion, are invited to participate in the exchange of knowledge, thus assisting humanity to live within the ethos of the universe. It is recognized that international cooperation and peace is a prerequisite for mankind to journey into deep space. Individuals and nations are invited to come together in the spirit of collaboration and unity to enable peaceful application and the use of plasma technology for space travel, food, agriculture, energy, transportation, health, and more. We are excited to release the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Blueprint to humanity. Welcome everyone to the 297th Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, October 10th, 2019. This is a broadcast of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute Education Department and part of the public teachings in English. My name is Rick Krem and I'll be your host today. And we have, as usual in these workshops, Mr. Mayran Kesh as our special guest, as always. And I think he's ready to go with uh, lots of uh, exciting news, I'm sure, and uh, various teachings in today's workshop. Hello, Mr. Kesh, are you ready to go today? Yes, good morning, good day to you as usual. Wherever, whenever you listen to these knowledge seekers series of teachings, as you were with us last week, we have opened a new dimension in a 
world of science and technology. And last week we showed you and we explained what happened in the conference in Vienna, what we presented on the side of the Cash Foundation um, Global as Operation American Operation. Today's is to do with Cash Foundation, as Cash Foundation, as we know it, Austrian Manufacturing and Cash China. And part of it connects and relates to uh, the global as a one integrated organization, we cannot deny. And in a meeting yesterday with American officials, where they were questioning about our work, we explained this is what it is. We cannot separate such a beautiful structure, equal distribution of knowledge and technology between different parts of it. So it's something they have to understand. This is the new way. Knowledge is shared freely amongst the company, being on the American or Chinese or European structure. As you know, we are going around uh, the world and um, literally sharing and dealing with the governments to start building what we call industrial parks. Uh, our team in the background carry on the following up the what meetings we had with the diplomats and our team again are looking forward and planning the next and the next and the next. As you know, we were supposed to have the next conference, 26, 27, 28 of this month in Mexico. We were requested by the organizers, uh, which are connected to the government, uh, that please delay this conference till February or later on in November, as the new government of Mexico actually comes into taking a position of the government and ruling on the Monday of that week. So we are back in the same situation as we were in Austria. The week we had the conference, there was an election. So we could we had the problem getting people officials in. So to the request of the, what we call the Mexican Cash Foundation and the officials they deal with, we have transferred this Mexico meeting to their request to February, first week of February. This gives a better tight rope for us to come back from Mexico and go to Kenya for the Kenyan African first African presentation. So the Mexican conference by the request of the officials has been transferred to February. Now we have a conference in Brazil on the 7, 8 and 9th of November. Uh, this conference is open for booking. They have opened the channels. This week or early next week, hopefully you will receive the, what you call, um, confirmation of Morocco conference in December. Please, if you're booking, do it within the next week, 10 days. As we said, we don't want many knowledge seekers. We, after a certain number, so we do not want any more because it's mainly for the diplomats and the politicians to be involved with us, to be with us in the first days, second and the third days, allocated and dedicated to the knowledge seekers. In the <coughs> Brazilian conference, we will sign the first memorandum of understanding with one, two, or possibly three nations. As I told you, the structure is interfacing with the government. And on the back of that, we will, um, we know, and in different ways, two, maybe possibly three MOUs, and then following most probably in Morocco, the first contractual agreement to build the first industrial stage with governments will be signed. As you're aware, we are active in, Mexico, in uh, Arizona. The state of Arizona governing bodies have accepted the cooperation to help us to build the first industrial zone. And they tell us they don't sign an MOU. We can go directly into agreement and they are supporting us and helping us now to organize the first, what we call Cash Foundation Space Industrial Park Zone in United States. We are committed to over 100 million investments in this location. It's one of our priorities. So 
as we say, we have come to an agreement with the state of Arizona officials that now we are looking for site to build it up, as Arizona will become the official headquarters of the Keshe Foundation Global Operation. It is very, uh, what we call, uh, important for us, as the Arizona will become an interface between the American space scientists and the Iranian space scientists. We make it that way, plus the Arizona will become the Center for Agricultural Development for United States to support agriculture. I have made that clear to the Iranian officials and I've made that clear to the American people in administration. Up to now, the neither side has refused to collaborate in this zone, which means even though they can do whatever they like to each other, talk anything they like, when they come into Arizona, in Keshe Foundation, they become one. They work together. It doesn't matter what they learn from each other and develop behind the back of each other, or collaborate together, this is fine. You got to understand, Iranian space technology is one of those technologies which has not been boycotted under any of the agreements of the President of the United States. As much as very recently, the Iranian space team has won a prize in the United States team of seven, eight, nine people, two or three women in them. So, we are not going into something different, we are going where there is an opportunity to start the peace process. So, you will see in Arizona, a large number of American and Iranian space technologists, we are inviting NASA, we are inviting the Iranian space technology people to work together. Color of the flag stays outside the door, inside one team. And as I was, as I gave a conference for nearly four hours on Monday to the Iranian officials in Tehran, uh, sorry, in Kerman, on Tuesday, sorry, with government representatives, local governments and scientists, we made that very clear. The collaboration scientific way will go ahead, irrespective of either way. And as we announced in the meeting, on the 19th, 20, 21st, 22nd of April 2020, in Tehran, we will show the space technology. That is with or without collaboration of the American scientists, if we have opened the Arizona zone or not. The space is something that all nations want to get in, especially the way we have, and the space is the ground that no one is, in a way, hiding from to collaborate. So, we have a common ground, Space Technology Cash Foundation, and it'll be nice, by that time, we can have scientists from NASA, American Space Organizations, in Tehran, with us, to demonstrate together. It is very clear, open card play, and, as I said, up to this moment, American administration or the Iranian administration, none of the two have refused to collaborate in Arizona. So we see this as a positive move, unless something changes, as you know, in America you wake up in the morning, one word before the coffee break and one word after coffee break, but at the moment the coffee break hasn't come, we have one word. In this process, as I said, in Brazil we show another revolutionary technology. In Morocco, we try to do the same. In this process, we build up step by step, that we gather enough government support, that by the time we get to Iran, in Tehran, we have at least half of the world ambassadors and leaders to be witness to the first space flight. We are not leaving everything to the last, all the preliminary stages for test and flight, private by Cash Foundation, has already started in different steps between different scientists of the world of the Cash Foundation. So, we bring these together. You will see American scientists shoulder to shoulder of the Cash Foundation, with the Iranian scientists of the Cash Foundation in space technology, will demonstrate together. We do not bear flag. We bear science. And 
I think, to what I see, it will be a good time to start the whole process of the space technology on a peaceful ground. The beauty of the work is, we're sharing it so freely, that everybody is ashamed not to refuse, and they accept, and will be there. So, join us in Mexico, join us in Brazil, in three weeks' time. I'll try to be there, in most of these presentations, but the Keshe Foundation Global, which is the organizer of these events, they have to take over, they have to take charge. And in this process, we'll be very transparent, as much as possible. As you were with us last week, we showed uh, a new system. We have had good responses, we have already taken order, we have received the deposits for the first systems, and we have already moved to the step to, in a way, for mass production, to be ready by the first week of January, delivery. Last week, we showed you what Global wanted to show. This week, we show you what the real system looks like, and you will see it for the first time. Rick, would you like to play? And you will see what is to be delivered. And this is a system which will be what you will see in different hospitals and organizations around the world. The first systems, as we see it, will go to United Kingdom. Germany, New Zealand, Iran, China. Would you like to play? Yes, Mr. Kesh. Innovative, revolutionary, stellar development, purest universal knowledge in a transformative, futuristic design. The Universal Body Enhancement Spaceship Unit. The very first new evolutionary spaceship technology has been rolled out for mass production. Our Universal Body Enhancement Spaceship Unit is constructed from high-quality materials carefully selected by our team of experts. Embedding the essence of the new GANS plasma science and technology, it uses collective plasma field technology for changing and enhancing the environment of the body of the man. This new plasma enhancement changes the environment of the body to allow it to return to its natural balanced energetic condition, as in the womb of the mother allowing every cell in the body of the man to find its natural, original field strength balance. The shape and field distribution in this new space plasma technology replicates the inner structure of the universe and replicates the balance fields from which the man was created at the point of inception in the womb of the mother, not only receiving balance in the physical, but also in the emotional sense too. For the first time in the history of man, a system has been developed and delivered, which not only enhances the physical body of the man, but also enhances the emotional part of the user of the system. Hence reducing and eliminating many problems that could not be solved in the world of science, to bring the body of the man into near perfection as at the time of birth. This new spaceship technology can be within the reach of every man today and can be ordered by medical practitioners, sports specialists and healthcare centers. The Universal Enhancement Spaceship Unit, the future you have been waiting for, is here. The journey from space to spaceship technology has started. Every order is subject to a contractual agreement and might require additional accessories priced separately for applications according to each case. You can order or contact us at office 
at at.kfm.global for additional information. Thank you very much. Um, can you show it for the second time? I've just received a call. Is it possible there are officials from government sitting in the background via online communication? They would like it to be shown for a second time. It would be my pleasure. Innovative, revolutionary, stellar development, purest universal knowledge in a transformative, futuristic design. The Universal Body Enhancement Spaceship Unit. The very first new evolutionary spaceship technology has been rolled out for mass production. Our Universal Body Enhancement Spaceship Unit is constructed from high quality materials carefully selected by our team of experts. Embedding the essence of the new GANS plasma science and technology, it uses collective plasma field technology for changing and enhancing the environment of the body of the man. This new plasma enhancement changes the environment of the body to allow it to return to its natural balanced energetic condition, as in the womb of the mother allowing every cell in the body of the man to find its natural, original field strength balance. The shape and field distribution in this new space plasma technology replicates the inner structure of the universe and replicates the balance fields from which the man was created at the point of inception in the womb of the mother, not only receiving balance in the physical, but also in the emotional sense too. For the first time in the history of man, a system has been developed and delivered, which not only enhances the physical body of the man, but also enhances the emotional part of the user of the system. Hence reducing and eliminating many problems that could not be solved in the world of science. To bring the body of the man into near perfection, as at the time of birth. This new spaceship technology can be within the reach of every man today and can be ordered by medical practitioners, sports specialists and healthcare centers. The Universal Enhancement Spaceship Unit, the future you have been waiting for, is here. The journey from space to spaceship technology has started. Every order is subject to a contractual agreement and might require additional accessories priced separately for applications according to each case. You can order or contact us at office at at.kfm.global for additional information. You can leave the picture of the unit on, if you like. Okay. Um, the beauty with this is, is reality. The beauty with it is that already a number of people have been through this process and are going through this process. And in so many ways, it works. And it works very effectively. As you see on the screen, the value, initial value for this system has been put at 150,000 euro. This will hold as an introductory unit for the Keshe Foundation supporters who want to have access to it. From 1st of January, the price will rise to 500,000 euro, half a million. For three months, we hold this value, this price. And by then, as the government and officials and different organizations become to be aware of it, that it has to pay back for years of research which has developed it and invested by the Keshe Foundation. The price from the 1st of March 2020 will rise to 1 million dollar per, 1 million euro per unit. So, this introductory price will hold only for more or less another two months. 
Delivery is guaranteed the January. We can deliver up to several hundred units a month. And from what we see, we're going to run into the backlog to 12 months and plus. This unit carry a contractual agreement, which means the foundation, be it global, be it Cash Foundation Austria, be it the Cash Foundation China, selling the systems, receive 30% contractual agreement from any processing paid by the patients. It's fully automized, it's fully computerized. Doctors will control it remote, and at the same time, it's a CE standard certification class one. It will be given certification to it, and it will be delivered from any of the three companies of the Cash Foundation worldwide. Each one takes the rights, the position of the title, owned by Austrian Cash Foundation. In so many ways, you got to see, as it says, you have additional pieces with it. Different diseases need different setting, different equipment, different materials. You might need t-shirts, hats, breathing systems, drinking systems. We have put this as a package, which is, um, if you remember, if you go to the Cash Foundation, we sell t-shirts for 39 something, and the hats and whatever. Everything which is with this package would be around 19 euro, 1999 euro. And some items like t-shirts will be done as low well as 9.99. But the package put together for each medical unit with the quality we put in is around about 175 to 200 euro. But it means the volunteer or the, what they call the person who gets processed, will get one of these from the doctors or practitioner before they go through the system. In a very near future, maybe 12 months or so, we can tailor make to the disease to the person. As you go for prescription, the doctor says you, they've tested medicine, a thousand million people tested, whatever side effect they never announced, you have to take it. It's not individually for you. You have some side effects. It's the problem of side effects. If the other people don't have, lucky them. With this technology, we tailor make the system to fit the disease, to fit the man. Never been done before. But it's both emotional and physical. And it brings a lot of changes. It brings a lot of effects. We are here to, in a way, to show this as a first series of the technologies. Later on this month, the power system for charging automotive will be released to major car manufacturers around the world, which means branded names, Germany, Japan, China, United States, will get the technology at the same time. This is the way we operate. So, you know the branded electric cars, and many major companies around the world trying to go into the electric car business. We will receive this knowledge on the contractual agreement, demonstration of the work, into the Cash Foundation process. The generation of self-generating energy to run this unit, the health of the battery and everything else, will be looked after by the new technology. The enhancement spaceship unit will have no power supply from outside in its model, as it's developed. You got to understand, with this technology, we can target organs. We can target part of the body which could not be done in a very specific way for physicians and doctors to 
be able to support their program. We see as we're going along now, as you know, we showed the preliminary type this in Vienna to, to the world, to the science, to the Keshe Foundation supporters and the diplomats. In this process, with a new technology, we allow maximum two to four months for at least 70 to 80 percent recovery from many, many, many diseases. It'll be done by doctors and physicians. This is a medical class one certified because it's not intruding, it's just environmental change. We allow doctors, physiotherapists, have to be part of this organization, whoever buys from us. The reason is, people 10 years, five years in wheelchair, they suddenly can move. We don't see damages to them, but we need physicians to teach them to control the reduction in their medication. And at the same time, um, what we call physiotherapists, to bring the muscles in order that they can enjoy life. There is a huge demand. We've received, I've received many communications. Where can we go? How can we start? It starts from 1st of January, delivery. We release the name of the doctors and the places they place these systems that you can go to. You deal directly with the doctors, not with the Keshe Foundation. You deal directly with the physicians and the hospitals. We control every step of this process as we have to monitor the operation. There's many of you who ask, what can we do? How can we get to this? How can we help our loved ones with different diseases? We have two phases which from today we announce and we are adding to it. Many of you pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for different diseases for years to come and you have already paid. And you are willing to pay to help, but it's just individually to you. And then what will be the next? We announce a new procedure from today and those of the Keshe Foundation supporters who want to join and do it, please go through it and do it. After Christmas, we stop this process. What this is, we give an option to knowledge seekers and the people around the world. If you have, or anybody you know has any condition, there is a fee charged wherever you go. We can send you to a hospital, you pay the fee to the hospital, and then you stay in the hospital, and that's it. Or, you can connect to two or three or four other people in your country, and put that finance, which you want to pay for one of each, to acquire a unit. You need to find a location, a doctor and a physiotherapist, the foundation will support you financially for part of this till it starts getting revenue from the system that get paid back. If we raise enough funds to justify that we support the other part of the financing, we get involved. You set a company up in conjunction with us and we support you. But the first initial finance has to be there. There is one proviso with this one. Those who put these funds in to set up this, um, what we call health centers or application of technology centers, you become a shareholder in that group. So not only if you've been sick for years, you have no income once you start, on what you invested, you get a, earning a living, like hospitals or whatever, from it. We allow certain ways to be done, and the same with us. We take 30% off. All the other costs comes from it. So, in your town, in your city, anybody with all the diseases who can use the system, benefits the foundation, 
and at the same time benefits you. It's very much like you become an agent to sell all the whatever the agents sell, but this time you helping yourself allows others to help from your help their families. At the same time, we work with one's what we call ethos. By the order of the Keshe Foundation, those limited numbers of people who cannot really afford will be given free access. We cover the cost from the Foundation. So, this is an opportunity for all of you who have loved ones or yourself in different diseases, you wanted to go to China or go to United Kingdom or somewhere, you don't need to move, you stay home, your position, your finances will help the others in your own city, in your own area, for the others to be used. This is a, is going to create a lot of problems for us, initially, we can take it. We estimate, and we know, in the next 12 months, some 10,000 units, we have prepared ourselves to put out. Our agreements with the Chinese partners, it still stands to switch from the old system to the new system. We'll set up a medical internet company, it's in the final phase of agreement, in China, where the whole post of Keshe Foundation, through medical side, certified in China, will be accessible in for Chinese community and worldwide. So we have taken a medical position on the internet that our equipments, our systems, will uniquely will be in that position. In this process, now we allow you not to leave your country, not to leave your home, but in a way, what you were going to spend, you can spend in your own city and help your own people. The pricing all depends on what is covering the cost and allowing expansion and allowing to be correct with the other structure of the work. So, if you have a disease or condition, you find a doctor, you find a physician, you find a premises, and we support you all the way through, in the structure, we train the doctors, we train everybody else, that you give a gift to your city, in helping yourself, in help the others. You got to remember, we are here to learn from the whole structure, we learn more and more. So, we start with number of diseases, with number of conditions, and the doctors, as is a medical system, will guide the volunteers, the patients, or whatever through. So, now, it comes back to knowledge seekers. In so many ways, now you can invest in your nation and for yourself. Go through the same channel, you tell us, this is what I want, what I have. I can get three or four or ten other people together, we are all diseased, we have a problem, we have a doctor, we can put it there, we can put it in, in the house or whatever, or in an office, that everybody comes with the doctor present, with their certified uh, usage, and we start working. I prefer to go this way, to return back for your supports who've been around us. In so many ways, our interaction with the governments will allow this very rapidly to go across hospitals around the world. We can gear ourselves to thousands of units per month delivery. Setting it up in that order, that then behind that will come all the other things which we do. <coughs> we give you link. Those of you who want to go to China, you will have a link to get in touch with through email, and you can go to China, stay in the hospital for two months, three months, these systems will be there, and it's a private hospital, you'll become part of the trial, 
to for certification and the same will be. We are looking for 30 patients per category of illness, six of them, to, if you want to go to China. The price has been put around 25,000 euro per case. So, um, we can write to the email which is given, and in due course, they will, you will be contacted. But if you want to stay inside your own country, your home, and help your own citizens, your own nation, we are prepared to support you. But this finishes in January, because once we go to the next phase of national and governmental, we cannot run this, because governments have their own criteria of doing it. But in a way, what you put in allows us the next step to come in. So, if you want, to pay 25,000 to go to China, you can put 25,000, find three or four people with the same disease, you, the machine will be owned by the company which you own, your partner in it, and you, as is run, as it expands, you become part of the health, new space technology in your city and your village. Many doctors would like to take this up, negotiate with us, but most of these, within the next two, three weeks, we have to solidify because we know how we deal with the other parts. We support every nation to get the same. To us is to bring the technology fast to use, and this is the only way which can be done. Once you set up a center, it will be announced through Cash Foundation worldwide. Anybody in your city, anybody in your country can come. You don't need to leave the country, you don't need to go and stay somewhere else but this opportunity we give you. It has to be financially feasible for us that we just don't put a machine there and it gets locked up, as we had in Germany, somebody getting a donation and locking a system up for their benefit. That system in Germany is obsolete. One unit of these will be given freely, as we promised, to the Austrian, Germany speaking, to the nation of Austria. We told you to return the systems back to us, and we told you it will be updated, but we didn't tell you how it's going to be updated. One of the in-house systems will be donated, will be given to the Austrian and German-speaking group of the Keshe Foundation, find a location, everybody still has to pay for it, those who cannot afford, we get free. We have to confirm it. And the cost of the system will be covered by Cash Foundation in what we promised you. You can keep the old system, it's obsolete. So, that has to be. We are not opening a unit to be in competition with the other Germans and Austrian people who are buying the system. We are opening a system to be for Cash Foundation to start learning how to manage things. And as the factory and the Austrians and Germans supported the, the Austrian operation in past years, this is our thank to you, and this is how we thank many people in different nations who helped us. Four units will be put freely in the nation of China, in a special clinic. It still goes through the same process. This is for all the Chinese Cash Foundation supporters who would like to use the system, you still have to pay for it. If it's not possible, foundation will decide. It's not the right of passage. Those of you who are from China, or you want to go to China, you want to use the system, at the moment we have systems running in China, but you can join the new system, version which is coming out, you, lie, you write to Plasma China, Plasma China at 163.com. Plasma China at 163.com. You need two to four months, two months minimum to stay in the environment, a medical environment, that everything can be under control of the doctors, physicians, that everything is correct. And after the first 30 cases, 
the case calls for certification and registration in the different applications of the technology. You got to remember, the same will happen around the world. We had inquiries from different countries, or there are people who call me, can we buy unit, can we do this? You can buy, anybody can buy a unit. You're a rich man, you want to help your country, you can buy a unit. But, has to be in a company which is connected to Keshe Foundation, we open operation, we take control charge, you take share of the profit according to whatever we structure it, has to have a doctor and a physiotherapy present, and has to be in a beautiful environment. The system is fully computerized, nobody can switch it on and just get going with it. Everything is inside the central control, we put a team of doctors which 24 hours a day respond to all the machinery, all the doctors around the world who are using it if they need help and data. Let me show you what this technology can do. This is, we have a written agreement with our volunteers, and this gentleman came to us exactly last Sunday, four weeks ago, in a wheelchair. And you can see what this technology can do, and then we talk about it. We kept it very quiet, there's no noise, more or less. There's some videos, some pictures, and We'll talk afterwards. You see what we see, what we say, we deliver. And it's the same across people who have used this technology in China. Can you play the recording of the volunteer? We have a written confirmation, we can even show his face, but we prefer not to do so. Rick, can you play this piece of video? The gentleman has a disease called Parkinson and Alzheimer's together. In a wheelchair, as you know, to get to this point, he needs at least 10 years. And he came to us with a family, and people have been deleted from the pictures. Person standing in front of me is one of the brain surgeons. There are a team of doctors, brain specialists, looking after this case in China. Can you start from the beginning, please? You know, the end, I think. Yeah. Day one, this is how he came to see and use the system. People have to hold him, he cannot hold him. In four days, marvel of the technology. Man can walk, get his dignity back. It's amazing how this man, you see the foot is still the same. The system you see in the background is already obsolete with the new technology we have developed, but still. You see him in day five. The gentleman in red is his guy who will help clean him and wash him for and protect him. Now we can see, six days, man does need no one. This is the beauty of the new technology. You see him walking for the first time. He's got in his hand, if you see in his pocket, the key of the car. He wants to drive. In six days, miracle of new technology. In 12 days, you saw the man who was in a wheelchair, has more or less command of his life. This is in hospital environment, kept in the hospital condition, and there are other what we call the users of the technology with it. He can sit for the first time himself, he can get up and do what he likes. For the first time in years, he can write. 
we can stand up on his own. You will understand the next pictures. If you are Chinese, it's important that you can help yourself to relieve yourself. You cannot do it when you are in a wheelchair. And mine is out there to look after you. You see, they remember he couldn't walk? We had to hold him. Now you see the man. The lady behind, this is my, I had the pleasure to know the family. And I can tell you a lot, in the days I spent with them in the hospital, with the doctors, we are there as a system provider, not as doctors. We assess how the system has to be set for the case. You can see him, the freedom, came in with a wheelchair days before. 29 days. Don't forget, he couldn't even stand up, and he was in a wheelchair. And now watch what he does. He can sit. And so freely he moves. This technology gives man his dignity back. But the beauty with it is he's got his emotions back too. As I said in the Iranian presentation this week, we asked his daughter to hold him. And when she came back, she was tears in her eyes. She said, I'm 30 years old, so and it's the first time my father has ever helped me. Now he goes up the wall. He has to be retaught everything. This morning he was throwing footballs, or what he called the balls, that he could do. He's a, a football fanatic. All his t-shirts belongs to some football club. Unfortunately, one is Manchester City. But um, he wears French football team clubs, the top club, Saint Germain. And he is oil man. He works for China Oil. What is interesting, you remember, he couldn't walk. Now if you look, he walks backward. This is very important position for him. He follows, he's learning everything step by step. You have a dedicated team in the hospital for working with him, and the other patients with him. You see, he's walking backwards. Walking backwards needs a lot of coordination and trust in movement. And you see his mind there, never leaves his side. You got to understand something. That boy, in four weeks time, has no job. He's literally walking himself to unemployment. Because he's been employed to look after him. And he's such a caring boy. He's literally like his son. He protects him like a father. I had the pleasure to be with him for a week. man who couldn't stand up, now he was. He wants to go up the wall. It's his pride to be able to stand up. Leg has no strength. If you are a physiotherapist, if you are a man of a sport, you know what it means when you haven't used muscles for years. Now, you can see what we are offering. What the new technology is seen on a worldwide screen, on what this technology is really delivering. And don't forget, health is a small part of our technology. Your wheelchair background, you've been in a position that through the whatever condition you have got to positions, now you talk to the doctors. We are developers of the technology, not the medical people. But we tell you where the technology is going, and how he does, and how it appears. We have people with epilepsy, 19 years old. Up to last Monday, if he could, he goes to school half day. They 
this Monday, full time. The boy has got a life, not some 43 uh, different tablets is given today. Both patients now are in the process of reduction by the supervision of the doctors. One, which is 25% reduction in next week and the other one the following week. And within two months to four months with the supervision of the doctors, zero medication. The conditions are not that they come back because with this technology, the root of the process is solved. The main emotional and physical. This system is not answerable and will not be the solution to all, at least not for a time being, as the scientists gather more information and as we develop it for its different application. This system set in a correct condition can fly. We will show this as one system integrated in Tehran. This system will produce material. This system will be able to deliver water and everything else the man needs. Do not forget, in the term of man, when you need water, you have to drink that it refreshes or gives the right amount of energy to keep the cells of the body in lubrication and motion. This technology delivers the component energy of the water to the body of the man and in the body of the man transforms to water, to what is needed. It's so advanced that very soon we will see many world leaders trying it. As we know, we see a very atrocity starting yesterday by the state of Turkey against people. But you will see one of the first people in this machine will be the leaders of Turkey who have different failures and cancers. Stop all our problem and our hope giving extents of life to these people, we bring peace to them, not problems. We have seen those who've been present in the conference in Vienna, publishing across internet, that this system will be offered to German Chancellor, for what we've seen, she's shaking in public heavily as part of the body Parkinson. Your Excellency, Chancellor Nach. The system is open. Your representative from the embassy was in the conference and we offered it directly to your nation to be offered to you as a head of a state. The offer sat with your diplomat who attended the conference. But knowledge seekers in Germany are very enthusiastic and trying to get this to their leader that she gets rid of what we've seen as a body Parkinson in public in the past few months. Illness knows no position, no sex, no religion, no race. And as we said, German Chancellor has supported the Foundation over years and in a way is our thank back to you. Does not matter if you have animals, you still can use the system. Your children for different conditions. We have to find how it matches. When the system does not work properly, it means we haven't understood the work of the body of the man. We have to understand the work of the body of man, that we can tune it to it with a system that can overcome the problem. I see this unit to be used for fractures, breaking of the bones, where you can heal the bone in hours. I know how it's done, don't forget, I broke eight ribs and two of them in two places and I walked out of the hospital in seven days using this technology. Registered in city of Anzaham, 
in the hospital, you can go and see the doctors. You can use this technology for all sorts of things. All the products which you saw Keshe Foundation Italy used to supply, will be supplied to Austria at 10 Euro or 19 Euro. So, at the same time, we're putting a limit, you cannot buy more than one or two. We are postponing a lot of work to make sure that this technology, with its support, will be there. If you have a knee damage, the kneecap will be around 1999. Your patches for your t-shirts, around about 999 to be used for the system. We process it this way, that it becomes feasible and acceptable for people to be able to rapidly create a condition of trust and the use of technology. In so many ways, as it says, we have started the transition from space to a spaceship program. And due course in the next few days, Keshe Foundation US Global will release as it is, has to the, what we call the report within three days in the international press showing the system and what has been done as it has to be done because it'll affect the prices and the share value in the market. But they are part of us, they have to do their work, we have to do ours. We are looking to see the extent of the knowledge and how it can go. I close the offer of this with people to be able to take position by 1st of January. So those of you who are saying how we can do, your Parkinson, your Alzheimer's, your ADD, your ADHD, your um, what you call different diseases, you speak to the doctors and try. You want to finance it, there are some philanthropists that say we want to buy the system and put it that others can use it, with a great sub pleasure. We support you. Our point is to get as many units into the market worldwide that allows the technology to enter next phase. Nowhere ever such a technology so advanced has been put at the reach of every man so rapidly. And in so many ways, it's thanks to the knowledge seekers, the teams which work around the Foundation, to make sure everything is done. We don't spend thousands going on advertising. We deliver that advertising comes with it by the word of mouth, the way all of you made backup systems and everything else. These systems are unique, and these systems will become part of the space development technology, even for communication, even for transportation. In so many ways, if I change slightly the interior, you have a 20-foot container. Delivered Shanghai, New York, few minutes, few dollars. The, what I said to one of our Chinese friends, now tell the American government how you're going to put tariff on what you cannot see delivered. then you understand how the borders are going to change. And you understand how everything else will change for all of us. This is the beginning of the spaceship program. This is the beginning of the new work for the spaceship program. The other correction I have to give you is a small correction in the email to China. It's cash plasma China at 163.com. I forgot to put the cash in front of it. Cash 
plasma china at 163.com send your request then you get the response if you're chinese you want to buy systems for your people for your city or whatever quite welcome we can support you through the cash foundation china as you know in china now we had the harvest started last tuesday of the land which we were participating we have entered into the pig disease again and now into the food process of the pig disease and into the hospitals and the rest of it in so many ways um our chinese friends are posting as you hear the gentleman you saw in the video is in the hospital and they're sending me pictures after videos after video what is achieved today for the first time he's throwing balls for the first time he can pull and hold things it is amazing how we are changing the life of people in a very simple way without taking any medication without putting anybody in danger and at the same time it'll be interesting when we go to European Court of Justice to show how empty space can change cancer where would there be validity of the Belgium government will take this machine is exactly the same as, as they had but in a bigger sense and we put the judges and their families with the cancer with Alzheimer's with the Parkinson they walk out if that's a crime King of Belgium has a long way to go to become criminal <laughs> but it's the beauty of it we are here to bring the change and I have taught you a lot now it's time to learn how to use how to apply to change conditions of governments change of citizens and gradually allow people to live a painless life useful life active life we all physically change our position once or the other as he says in english as i've said before there are three things in life guaranteed if you're a citizen of a nation birth taxes and death you're born you paid your taxes you can play with the time of departure in pain and suffering in bed or find new ways to extend a little more to suffer a little bit more to enjoy a few breath of air or sing some little more but this is the future of the technology non-intrusive system you can use this system as a dialysis machine you can use this system to purify blood without any intrusion you can use this system to place and replace pieces in the body of the man in the coming time as our physicians learn more we are here to comply with the need of man for the new technology we will show many many new units across the world this is beginning of the change if we show you in the coming time the same machine starts moving around the street you've seen it it's got a front screen don't be puzzled when we put a special unit of this as i said last week in vienna one of our german knowledge seekers wanted to see through emotion he can start the heartbeat because we could see the heart in the system how it shakes and he managed to do it with his thoughts so this system connects to the emotion of the man and the will of the man as different people sat in the machine we saw the heartbeat changing according to them so this is the first time real life cell system you have a stroke talk to your physician use of the system you just sit you sit in the sun this is the sun of life it's the womb of the mother it repairs it it doesn't repair it allows the body to reconnect 
to itself, to its original connection. Many people say, for example, when you have Alzheimer's, or you have Parkinson, or you get MS, the cell of body, if you look at the scans, brain is gone. It hasn't gone. It needs to be restructured to the original position, and that's what it does. There are many of you with MS and other diseases. It's the first time I see a solution to ILS with this technology. Because not only we change the physicality, we evolve the emotion, that point of self-death, wanting to die. This technology is answer to many things. We do not claim any medical. We are claiming no medical. We are developed a technology and a science that the world of medicine, world of agriculture, world of space will come to embrace, and as it says, from a space to spaceship. You will not see any motors with this system. You will not see anything moving with this system. Because movement of motors has limitations which interferes with the soul of the man. You will see, you feel, as you saw, the aura within the space of it. We can put families in the system. Everything, from now on, has a new dimension. Collaborate with us, release more knowledge. Try to obstruct us, we handle you with ruthless hand. Don't forget, I know how this technology works. It has to become the tool of peace, it has to become the tool that man gains confidence and elevates his soul, and elevates himself to a new level of understanding, of comfort and serving. In the coming time, will create in this environment, where you can see the creatures of God in the universe. This system is not made for man only. People who went through the simpler version of human dimension in Vienna, already sending us report back. Since going in that machine, they come out different man happy people, changed a lot of things in their lives. People with pain don't have pain. I can put a blind man in this machine, and get him out, seeing. It's something I've done before. Now it can be done, by the physicians. We can reconnect all the nerve systems, in this technology, with this system. We can rebuild all the limbs and arms, which were blown up by American mines and land mines in south of Iraq. There is something, as I said to the Iranian government and officials, I'm committed to the nation of Iran. We'll make it the country that every man wants to be an Iranian. Talk good, do good and Akut, the three ethos of Iranian culture. As is in Bible, the three wise men of Iran. We have to understand, time of teaching is over. I told you, I have told you everything. Now, you know when you're in university, you go to the theoretical class in the morning, afternoon is a lab and practical. I've taught you for six years, I've taught internationally for 15 years. Now it's time to see how the system works, that you put together and you understood part of it. 
we have set up and in our agreements with the governments, anyone replicates any system of the Keshe Foundation, becomes payable to Keshe Foundation. It's our intellectual rights without patent. To start respecting each other's right. And don't worry if you copy, we don't bother, we know how to do other things. This has to go through the structure of the Keshe Foundation that it becomes part of supporting one nation operation. With this system, you can buy cash coins and pay through cash coins for your services. In a coming time, when the e-commerce starts trading, you have to sign that you're a member of the Cash Foundation and you can trade through cash coin, which means all the currencies around the world will become one level. Now you understand how we set up the cash coin. We start with this technology. Those of you who buy cash coins becomes the finances of the foundation. You can pay for it through cash coin. Doesn't matter which country you move around. The beauty of it is, with this system, you have to go to a wedding, you're using the system in between, there's another one in another city, you just take your sequence of your disease with you, and they program it in the computer, you can use it. You don't need to cancel holidays, because you are using the system. Now you can see how we start laying out our work. This system will not be allowed to enter the state of Belgium. This is very clear. This system will not be allowed to be used by any Belgians. You understand the reason why, and you understand very soon there are two choices. We all act correct and put all the mistakes of the past right, or we stand time till it's put right for you. Those of you who are from African nations, don't look for handouts from the Foundation. You have plenty, raise it, bring it to your nation and make it wealthy. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Cash, and I'll remind the attendees they can put their virtual hands up so they can ask a question. We do have one uh, in Inicio, I think is, I can't pronounce the name correctly, I believe from Mexico. I'll allow him to talk, and I think he has a question about uh, uh, the Mexico end of things. Go ahead. Uh, Inicio, or whatever, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, it's De La Nuva Era Nodo Maya. Hello, can you open your microphone? Adelante, Inicio De La Nueva Era Nodo Maya. This is Miguel Moreno from Mexico City. Hi, Mr. Cash. Uh, hi, all the team. Um, I, I, I want to talk with you about the, some uh, meetings that I haven't that I have over here in Mexico. I uh, the last time when I went to Tijuana, Armen told me that uh, uh, Armen uh, has a talk with Felipe, Roger, me, and the Doctor Alcaraz. Uh, and Armin told us that we needed we need to go to the politicians to invite them for the event uh, for the Keshe Foundation. So uh, going this uh, taking these instructions, I went with a friend the last seven of October to the Senate of Mexico. The old uh, Senate or the new Senate? Uh, is the Senate that is uh, uh, that is uh, in this uh, 
in this um, uh, peri period. Yeah, but because but it changes there are next several, But they are several uh, uh, lawyers yeah. from all the from all the Republic uh, Mexican Republic. Yeah. So I have the chance to speak about with uh, 90 lawyers and senators to uh, to let them know about the event that uh, was taking place uh, in these months, but uh, they already know the the new date that is gonna be in February seven, eight, and nine, right? Please ask. I think it's third, fourth, and fifth. It's already published on the website. It's on the front of the okay. cash page. Yeah. So the result. With this talk, with these uh, senators, they, 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 they were lawyers and senators and deputies. Uh, I have a chance to speak with 80, maybe 80 of them. And I told them, and uh, I had a very good results because they, uh, I had a, an invitation to go to the Congress, to the, uh, uh, to the Congress, uh, of uh, Congress of Mexico, uh, and I have a, a date uh, the next uh, Thursday, 70th at yes. 11 a.m. Uh, because they they had a very uh, uh, they are very interested in the community. so. Uh, one engineer, uh, his name is Ignacio. Uh, he is from Oaxaca, and he uh, he uh, gave me the date for for uh, to go to the to the Congress of Mexico. So the next uh, Thursday, seventieth at eleven p.m. I'm gonna go to, to speak more about the technology. Um, one of the reasons because uh, they are they are very interested. This engineer uh, is uh, working with the with the Congress because uh, he is helping uh, poor people, uh, people that they have a a house with a wood or paper. Uh, uh, people that they don't have uh, money to go to the doctor and they are uh, having problems, uh, health problems. So uh, that gave me a good uh, uh, satisfaction to serve with this uh, engineer to, to take this uh, plasma technology uh, in all the in all places of the world, uh, uh, and if we are we able to help the most uh, need people that they, they, they are very poor and they 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 don't have money to to go to the doctor. Uh, I think that is a very good opportunity to to spread the knowledge with them. And uh, just I wanted to let you. To let you know all these all these uh, uh, opportunities that we are having over here in Mexico, uh, I don't know if you have any comment. Thank you very much. I have a lot of comments. Huge okay. amount of comments. One comment is you have taken charge for your nation, and that's all we want to do. Uh, actually, I want to tell you, Mr. Keshe, I am a very single uh, person. Uh, I just, I, I went to, to do this because Armin told me. And the, um, and the creator is uh, giving me the chance to, to, to take these opportunities because I don't have any position, any, any political position. <laughs> so I am, I, I am uh, fully win. <laughs> I am following my heart, and I, I, I want to serve you. You serve your nation. 
we are not making any prophets or any leaders. This is how you take leadership. This is people like you, take the technology, and in so many ways, as a friend of mine said, who cares about FDA when I can walk and they tell me I cannot? In so many ways, um, in our negotiation, when we are in Mexico, we will meet with the politicians and diplomats, as you are aware, set up. And in so many ways, the governments will turn into this technology as they see it as a way out. If you put in a government, and you have a bunch of people who understand this, like in Senate, you spend one million dollars with the support, and there is no fee for anybody going in the machine and coming out of the machine. This is what's going to be. When we say next month with this new technology, millions of people's life will change. You will understand. My biggest problem now is production. Our biggest problem is to meet the commitment of the orders which are coming in, that we can cover. This morning, I received a beautiful package, 10 units, by one man. And the people who work as, what they're called, for themselves, and we are seeing people who are going to the uh, dealers or representative of the Keshe Foundation. You are the representative. Just go on the line. There is no barrier. There is no way to stop what you need to do with second hand. Write to the Foundation, this is what I want to do, and then they will do it. And what we can do. As long as we can support you, this is what I want, this is what I set up for you to take the knowledge to your nation. And what you've done doesn't need layman, it needs a man who lays his life down to serve humanity. It's very simple. Now, government knows, and the present Mexican government is fully aware, the Minister of the Health of Mexico has been Tijuana in one of the teachings you see in Spirit. We have a full support from the Mexican government inside people with the Tijuana. We have committed, we have invested, we have properties and the factories to be set up, even the factory now is too small. What we bought was to build a small factory, now we're going for industrial parks. And uh, we will see the collaboration with the uh, Mexican government is not on the private level, it's on the governmental level. And we have to ask them if they can organize inviting all the ambassadors and the others. We see the same thing more or less, should see the same thing in Mexico. Yeah, maybe uh, that is one thing that I want to do. In the next meeting in the Congress, uh, and they're gonna be uh, uh, some uh, deputies, and I gonna ask him. Uh, I gonna let the. I gonna let them know what about about the the, not the technology, but I gonna let them know also about your your visit in Mexico, to to maybe organize uh, an uh, a conference with you with all the all the. All the crew with the with the politicians over here in Mexico City. I I gonna I gonna do that. I speak to our team in Tijuana. You know they work collectively together because they are working through the same way through the Ministry of Health and uh, in your government. We are lined to meet with number of heads of states in our visits in different countries. It will be published. Sure, I uh, I gonna I gonna invite them. Uh, to Felipe, Roger, and all the team to Tijuana to the next meeting, to be just one group, one team. Can you, can I ask you one thing? 
please yes, sure. join the Mexico Conference Group. In each yes, country, I, I already, already, I already, I, I, I am, I am there. Yeah, I am so in the, together in there and organizing that we know we see. Um, Austrian Keshe Foundation has taken lead over control of all these meetings. That what is looked after by the global. These are global events at the same time Keshe Foundation events, and uh, we we asked even for MOU with the Mexican government to be signed while we are in Mexico for investments and development of the technology. Um, we see step by step signing of the agreements and MOUs in setting up the factories. In talking to the officials yesterday of the American, what they call it, government, they, they were interested why we have come into uh, what you call market to raise money. We said no, we just want to be known that we are and the technology is and we have enough to raise funds for ourselves. There will be no market share offered in the market for valuation, which is very unusual. You go to the market to raise funds. We are going to the market to raise awareness across the business world about the cash foundation and our work. And these press releases we do is continuously informing the world leaders who deal in shares and markets uh, that there is such a thing. You have a banker, you still get a cancer. You still have a boy with autism and a wife who's suffering from Parkinson. No man is immune from disease. You be the president, be the Pope, be the Ayatollah, be the king. And this system, once you go in it, you're alone with your own soul, and the decision of what you've done to the physicality that the soul accepts to elevate itself to repair you. What do you understand what this technology means? You go into the temple of your soul, and then you understand what has to be done and what has to be put correct. As I said, it's not just for physicality, but it's for emotion and the soul of the man. This is what I said in original, when we announced the conferences, is for you to engage your government, and you've done it. I'm sure people in different countries will do it. It's coming to the point that in the next few months, we will be in one city or another every week, with different governments, to make sure we work, that we can bring the technology to every country. This is what exactly what we asked, and that's what Armin asked you. You got to the, you're a Mexican, you're a Brazilian, you are from Argentina, from different countries in Africa or Asia. Go to your government, organize a conference. We do our best to be in. I was telling to Caroline yesterday, I said, you know, I've been a gypsy of the universe, and the same history applies here, from one to another, never rest. But if it serves mankind to walk towards what is ultimate, you know, reward for killing is what for a man to be a gypsy in the heart. Another but, thing that I want to tell you, Mr. Keshe, yes, to, tomorrow I'm gonna go to Querétaro. In Querétaro, they are uh, they are a company that is uh, working with the Magrap systems. And uh, in is this, this the one which is saving for 40 percent on the electricity bill with the six Magrap. Uh, it's, it's increasing, it's increasing. Uh, in this month, and they they are uh, saving in the third month for everything, they are saving about 700,000 pesos. A month? Uh, uh, in three months, almost uh, more than half million pesos. Uh. In, in three months for all the savings. Uh, Those Maghreb units I made. How much is seven? You made. How much is seven hundred pesos in US dollar divided by eighteen? But eighteen. Uh, how many, actually, seven hundred. Uh, seven hundred uh, thousand. 
Yeah. It's about right. the. It's about maybe. Uh, Forty thousand. Three, three five, three five thousand dollars. That's correct. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's around about twenty-five thousand dollars. Um, what is interesting is this is what you got to do. We come to give the technology to your nations and it's for you to set up and we are there to encourage and invest in it. And maybe your nation invest with us. Yeah, yeah, uh, that is uh, that is another another point that I want to to motivate uh, the the people that they have companies. I have a, a chance to 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 speak with a uh, with a representant uh, with a people that have a, in charge thirty five uh, companies. So I think that is another opportunity to to go to the sector of the energy uh, saving energy. Yes, no problem. You take it to your nations. You start it. If we if we can, how we can we support? Thank you very much for, and those of you who think the same way, don't think to go to the Senate, go to your village, your city, your, start changing from the base. And in so many ways, um, it's us who's going to serve us. Thank you very much. The number of questions. The last thing, the last thing, yeah. Mr. Keshe, uh, I made a chamber with the uh, Magra systems, okay. and I am uh, giving a uh, free. Uh, uh, I, John, ¿cómo se dicen consultas? Consultation. Yeah, free consultation for all the people that they are sick. Uh, so uh, this, uh, I made this uh, chamber, Magrav system chamber, uh, to in gratitude for all the all the things that you are giving us uh, with your knowledge, Mr. Keshe, and to follow the ethos for the. Keshe Foundation. So Thank all you. the people that they that they have a sickness, they are coming, uh, taking uh, free uh, sessions for the plasma, and they are uh, they are having guns free also uh, when they are when they are giving uh, to take the to take the the session. Thank you very much. We will see how we go to the next one. Thank you very much for your support and your work. Um, the, the number of questions coming up, I'm getting it sent to me, is one is from uh, Universal Council member of Hebrew language, Donaim from Tel Aviv, from Israel. It says, hi everybody. It's a pleasure being a part of this plan. I want to ask, is this system beneficial for mental treatment as well as physical issues? For example, in a depression or regular depression or anxiety and so forth. The answer is yes. And uh, I can give you in writing, uh, which we have received from doctors as we are doing in China. Uh, boy who was afraid to be anywhere and depressed now, as I told you, he's back to school and I can read his report from them, yes. You go into this system, you come out the way you used to be, without any diseases. And in so many ways, um, yes, it can be done, because now we're monitoring it. It's one of the things, one of the uh, leading doctors in China, he wanted to test this on this boy. And the background to it is that the boy um, trying to study for university entrance must have got depressed or whatever. He does something wrong. Instead of the doctors understanding him at the age of 17, 18, they give him brain electric shock and they put him on a huge medication, 43 medication tablets a day. In two years, he's 19 now. And uh, the boy is total zombie, and I can show you videos. In less than two weeks, he gets up and runs for the first time. He speaks to his mother, and um, as I said, he's gone back to uh, to school to go to university. And yes, it can be done. It is 
uh, it works very well for them, uh, extremely well. But you do not change this. Anybody says you can use and change it in one week, two weeks. It's, it's, it cannot be done. Brain cells have to be set. Uh, the brain, uh, uh, what do you call it, has to restructure itself that uh, it can hold on to. We are not here to show, we are here to make the change and um, it does work for depression and um, for what you call um, the process, it's very easy, I think it doesn't need more than um, It's just that you have to put the emotion right, to elevate the soul. And it will be nice to see if our friends in Israel buy the system and put it there to let those who put the fear of life in us. That will be what was promised. Uh, we got from Ricard, he says, Hello Mr. Keshe, thank you very much for your work and kindness. Can you give us the dimensions of this unit and especially the four area necessary for optimal operation? We have made sure that this is just under 5 meters 75 that it can fit into a 20 foot container. The 20 foot container. Height is around about 2 meter. And width is around about 1 meter 20. Uh, this sits on a special plate that creates separation of the field. So it's an independent unit. Um, it uh, it weighs something around about a ton. And it'll come in a few pieces and then it's all connected as uh, is not motors rotation, that kind of thing. So it's totally different. It's a copy of the work of the universe. So it has to be set up and um, they come with a manual and the people who come, most probably will send somebody in the first try to fit, to set up one day, teach and move on. Uh, It says, what's the minimum age to use the new need? There is no age limit. Animals or human is the same. It says, what can be done for people with mechanical implant in their bodies? There is a problem if the implant, how it is and what it is, stand for the heart, we cannot, I, you cannot use it. We can isolate it if you have a cancer that it doesn't touch it, but it can be dangerous. It has to be on the supervision of the doctors. Uh, any other implant, you have to see how it behaves in plasma. What, for example, what about uh, fillings in teeth? No problem. Okay, and uh, right maybe here at the old radio station. You never knew it. <laughs> the outer space tunes of the century. Um, and what about people with um, like uh, titanium uh, braces in their back and things like that? We do not allow it. Ah, the reason okay. being, the reason being, because we have seen this in operation. What happened when you have titanium, which fuses two, three of your spine bits together, is because the uh, what we call discs have been damaged and it's been removed. The beauty with this technology is, if you don't have those titaniums discs, or you can remove them. Uh, the disc will grow back. Doesn't matter, it's been brushed out. In a few months, the disc grows. So when the disc grows and they have pinned it, it starts fracturing where the pin is in the bone. So you shatter the bone. Mm -hmm. 
That really makes sense because I've had I've actually been diagnosed with a herniated uh, disc early in my life, and I went through a lot of pain and agony. But it did eventually uh, repair itself through some intervention of my own. But uh, it's true that a new arm. <laughs> well, got a new back by. Um, essentially deciding that I would heal myself in a way. So it, it worked. Um, we had some other questions as well with the Q and A. There's, there's, uh, I also wondered about uh, what they call the pacemaker um, devices or any electronic or electrical devices uh, we have to look, it's the job of the physicians. We are a technology provider. Cash Foundation is a technology provider. So the physician has to decide the position, what it does. Can we switch it off and test it and allow it to grow? It can be done, but physicians have to try. On the other hand, because this is a field motion, would the system absorb enough energy that, uh, what do you call it, uh, can like damage the tissues of the system inside the body. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the uh, things that we're going to learn as we go along. But we've developed technology which can isolate these parts that the field does not interfere. We can extract the fields from the certain areas part of the body. Mm -hmm. But if it's a function there to do a function, how can we isolate it? This is the biggest problem. Like uh, Andrew has the question in the Q&A, the next question, which, uh, hi, will people that are on electronic artificial breathing machine be able to get into this new system without the fields affecting the electronic uh, machine? Like a mechanical- It can be, it can be organized. You've got to see how it is fitted, how it's fitted, the way it does the operation. We have worked on this, and it's very successful. The work with the lung failure, people who cannot breathe, um, around about eight weeks, six weeks, um, the, the, the lung will start operating as normal gradually. We know this very well. The people who are on the uh, artificial ventilation, especially if it's a hole down the throat, it's not a problem. You have to change the condition of the lung with a field interaction. And as it changes, it starts working normal. Unless it's damaged beyond, which nothing is damaged beyond. If we can create uh, limbs and fingers, I think it's beyond. It's just that you have to understand you need to give time for the repair. It's not going to be a magic in one go. And the body has to readjust itself. We, we had a lady who, years ago, could not walk more than a few meters. Actually, when she came to see us, she walked in through the door and stood in the back. I thought it was a strange thing for a woman just coming and standing. And then she walked three or four steps and stood there for another 10 or 15 minutes. And I said, what's going on? They explained to me she cannot take more than three or four steps. She doesn't have the breath. And uh, her husband called us everything. This cannot be helped. And everything is, uh, he could call us. And uh, the woman said, it's me who's suffering. I want to do it. I want to do it. I don't care. I said, we don't want to charge you. If you want to try it, I'll make you the empty system, as the Belgium say. And uh, we met her around September, October. And in January, thanks for getting her life back, she decorated the church on her own. And uh, she was nursed to build the garage into a bedroom for her with toilet because she couldn't go up anymore. And she was on all sorts of ventilating systems. And she used to go cycling and shopping. And because I had to pass her house on the way from where we used to see people in Holland back to Belgium, 
and I, she invited me to go to her house. I still remember the husband brought a bucket and sat on the floor in the kitchen. I said, what are you doing this for? He said, I've come to apologize. You do miracles and I want to pay. I said, I don't need your money, I've already done my job. He was so happy that for years he had to do all the cleaning and the cooking and looking after this woman. Now she was there to look after him. And I still remember sitting there with his son, son was in their forties. He says, we want to, we want to pay, we made a mistake, we apologize. I said, so my job is done, you got your mother back, you got your wife back and that's all it counts. Yes, he can help. Any other questions? I've got a few questions that I'd like to ask. Um, you mentioned at one point uh, earlier about the targeted um, therapy, like targeting certain organs and so on. I wanted to clarify for our listening audience that uh, you, in spite of being a, a nuclear engineer, you didn't mean like radiation therapy or what they no, call no. targeted radiation therapy. No, no. It's just bringing the balance of the fields to the body. With this uh, technology, there is no radiation. There is no, uh, there is no need for it. You got to understand, I was explaining to my son yesterday, when you have an active cell, or a neutron, which is too active and cannot match with anything, it wants to release its fields to find itself or change itself to an atom of hydrogen, which is electron and proton. So it radiates as much as it can at a time to be able to go back to stability. And it produces what we call radiation. If you create a environment that everything is in peace, there is no, nothing is created as radiation. Okay, well that leads to a, a question that came up in, a, in the plasma reactor group um, yesterday uh, with Lawrence and uh, he was talking about um, that he thought that this technology that you're introducing might be based on, uh, partly based at least on the idea of the potassium uh, converting to calcium, the, the K40, and emitting the, uh, the gamma, which is what makes for transformation inside, transmutation inside of our, our bodies to create the We uh, already have taught so this. This, we have yes. already taught this. It was taught in the teachings. So he says he understood, that's good. Mm -hmm. But uh, in, the, in the medical and the private teaching, we also said, the, the job of uh, thalamus and thymus is synchronizing, changing matters to what is needed. And mainly is done by calcium, potassium conversion. Because the man who lives in the North Pole, Eskimos and the rest, or people who live on a mono food, they all, whatever they eat, they, uh, they digest, absorb calcium. Whatever you eat, you eat meat, has got calcium in it, you eat anything you eat, has a center of calcium in it. And uh, talking about the flesh, and this is the same with vegetation but they have a different composition. So the calcium, your immune system has a calcium seed, your skin, every cell has a calcium seed. So the body, the connection fields between thalamus and thymus, uh, organizes what the brain needs, what the body needs, and then they convert the calcium into, by additional energy into potassium, which is uh, K40 which is radioactive, to break the cells off of the meat, which actually they eat, as what you ate. It's, uh, in so many ways, uh, we take uh, B12, B6, B9, and many other BBs. Um, these are also so many times radioactive material to do the function of what the calcium does, uh, converting to potassium-40. 
this, as I explained, it was understood years ago, when I've said, if you look at the Coca-Cola bottles, I could produce um, graphene, because in my systems, uh, into the NOH, I added potassium, additional potassium, to create a condition of higher water field conversion. And so, because potassium has that K factor to release heavy energies very rapidly in conversion into K port. Yes, we were looking at the energy levels of the actual gamma rays, and they're at the high end of the so called electromagnetic uh, spectrum, uh, way beyond uh, radio and infrared and even ultraviolet. And, uh, oh, that's just the beginning of the rays. When you go to cosmos, that become like an alpha rays. What is gamma ray to us here? Yes, right. So, um, so when you're talking about this unit, of course, there's no external radiation being directed and so on. But it it will somehow affect the, those internal processes with the. Uh, you know, be in the, at the cellular level with this uh, potassium uh, calcium interaction. If the body, of course, if the body is made of it, you have to interact with it. So, does that yeah, interaction the, get inspired by our interaction with our soul, or is it something that's stimulated through the machinery here, the device itself, the fields gonna, of gonna, the gonna, device? Are we going to go back to teaching? Well, if we go, I'm trying back, to uh, trying to. Uh, I'm so trying to get rid of some you. some teaching here, but uh, yeah. If you get rid of your picture that I can get, you can put it on after I finished. Okay. That I can share. I can't get my whiteboard back. Okay. In uh, many teachings, we have already explained that. In the body of a man, you have the you have the nerve system, and then you have where are my colors? I haven't been on this board for such a long time. I forgot about my colors. That's the reason know where I can find my colors. Yeah, 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 found my colors. The nerve system, and you have the blood. One carries the the strength of the feel the strength of the emotion, and nerve carries the strength of physical creation. And these two is, you know, you have these double glue system, they don't work till you put them together. At a position, length and whatever of the body, the, these two at the right energy and right uh, field strength, with the presence of lymph, covered lymph, into matter state of itself. That's how it works. That is why when you have a problem with your mother and you don't want to have a breastfeed, you change this. So this solidification of the matter at that point changes and you get cancer. This is the say two picker on amp. Now change of emotion at this point, you make it to 1.9, then to minus 5 mega, pico, one mega, ohm, one mega amps. And then that creates change of material. The salt in this environment now behaves in a different way, this solidifies. It's very much like, uh, as I explained before, you have a steam in the room, you don't see it, till it touches the coldness of the window and then manifests itself as water or moisture. Here, manifestation of the matter is salt, but in the current flow from the emotion, 
and the brain. If any of these two balance level potential different changes, you get a different material. And that's how even the, all your layers and different parts of your kidneys or liver or heart is doing. Side dilution, when, when salinity changes with potential difference between the two uh, lines of neuro and emotion, it gives the matter state. And then you see how strong they are, they create that the space gap, and then you see, oh, this is the place, this is what happens. If you look at your bladder in your body, which blows up to a balloon, and it collapses, is just because the more, you remember those magnets we used to put together, and if you put it the right way and change the strength, the space gap increases? Because the urine in the bladder is still in a gas state, in combination creates a field and pushes open the wall of the bladder. When you, that's how the system works. Uh, this is, it's not just that you, the, the bladder just suddenly opens the space. It's a magnetic field positioning. It's a GANS, it creates that dimension. The same is with, when you look at the space gap in your kidneys, how filter, it works the same way. Those gaps are not just a gap, it's created by the magnetic field strength of the cells which made that gap, they dictate the space gap. So if you understand this, a lot of things in the world of medicine becomes easy. And when you go into the system, and the move, there's something has happened, it's changed, but you have to remember the original current in one of them always is original. So when there is a defect, this comes and you give it the right condition, this comes to the same strength and then it operates. It goes back to normality. We see um, in the coming time, as we develop this technology and uh, the doctors will show us that um, you can um, remove cancers within minutes. The thing is to move the cancer seed and then the body will look after the leftover of the protein. That's all it is. You take the heart out of the cancer. As you all know how it works, for those of you who are new, in the center of the cancer, any cancer, there is a seed. And then you have what we call the clustering. Layers and layers is every cancer is a pearl. And with this technology, because we can set it the right way, we remove this by what we call the process. And then there's nothing to hold the uh, pearl together and the whole thing collapses. We have a very good setting in Farsi. You know, Shotur is a camel, it's very big. So that you see the camel, you don't see the camel. It just depends where you hide the camel, where you take the camel out of the picture. With this technology, we take the seed and then there's nothing left. You take the leg off the scaffolding of the cancer. So, if you understand the technology and you have a central cancer, which is sitting here, and you take it away, there's nothing else to hold on to it. We've seen this with nanotechnology materials. If you take the copper from inside, you can melt it, you see all your nano layers disappear because the copper is gone. If you look at it scientifically, your nano layers is only the cancer. You change the center, copper is the main. Get a ball, uh, what do you call it, metal ball, and nano coat it long term, and then cut it. Then you see the layers. You can see the structure, and then you understand more how you deal with the cancer. And if you tell me how I know these things, I have spent a lot of time in the lab doing it. You give me a skull in that machine. I give you a man walking out of that machine. You'll find me the skull of Christ, I give you the man back to you. In that machine.
you know we preserve Lenin's head one of these days somebody will bring Lenin back in his body but when we still consider him as a leader that's a different question any other question? Uh, Mr. Kesh, uh, Lawrence had his uh, hand up here, and uh, he was one that was uh, discussing the things about the potassium and calcium and so on. Maybe he has a detailed technical question or something you would like to ask. Go ahead, Lawrence. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Kesh. Hello, everyone. Um, would you like to tell us? Are we going to curtail you or are we going to let you talk? Because you talk about things which doesn't make sense sometimes. Carry on. Thank you. I wanted to ask and uh, have people understand the way I understood the, the technology at this moment. So 100 years ago, we had uh, scientists who were talking about uh, black body radiation. And they had a problem which they called the uh, ultraviolet catastrophe, which uh, said that if you shine too much energy onto this black body, it would radiate so much energy that the energy would become infinite. And I think at that time, they didn't know about uh, gamma rays and cosmic rays and other forms of light that are much stronger than what we know as ultraviolet light. And uh, I believe that uh, through the use of nano coating, which is a black body, and the combination of uh, the emission of gamma rays from the potassium, you have basically created a system which basically proves this concept of ultraviolet catastrophe being true, meaning there is a way of opening infinite energy through the, scaffolding with material. The, what if what you what you said <clears throat> in a twisted way, but to go opposite to it, Stephen Hawking tried to create a black hole which absorbs everything and doesn't give. The basic concept came through this to uh, Stephen Hawking. Can you adjust your mic a bit there, Mr. Cash? Thank you. Yeah, um, his theory of black hole was to contradict this position. And my paper supported that position, that th there's no black hole, there is no black matter. It has a certain capacity. If you put too much in a cup, it'll overflow. But it doesn't get in cosmos radiation, because now we understand the process. The process is as simple as ABC. You see, when you have a matter, a, I use this all the time, it's so beautiful if you understand it. When you have a matter and you make it to a nanomaterial, which is dark um, matter, because it absorbs all the fields in between. Why did I find my color media thing? So what happened when you put all these energies in it, this has a capacitance. It's literally capacitor. These can move a little bit, the energy increases, maybe, this moves a little bit that way, but it reaches the saturation point. And when it reaches that saturation point, it has to release some of it that all the cells go back together in the position they have to be magnetically. So now we understand it, it's very easy to explain. It doesn't give you cosmic world radiation and ultrasonics and whatever you want to call it, the ultraviolet. It's just that you feel a balloon so much, the balloon expands the point, the capacitor, and now he has to release his up at. So whatever you want to call that has a limitation because once these cells of atoms go back to their normal, they don't squeeze nothing out. Uh, and you can do a lot with this. You can hit it with uh, nuclear materials, you can hit it with ultraviolet, you can hit it with anything, even the normal heat. But get to the point, that he has to release his energy. Because of that, now we understand what we call magra positioning. And, uh, and so many ways, um, 
Stephen Hawking with his stupidity tried to say, no, everything goes in, nothing comes out. It's a black hole and a nano material is exactly the same. And what I said in the original paper of creation of black hole, that not everything is absorbed and some radiation comes and some of this radiation is such a high level that it becomes the essence of creation of the world. And then, if you go back to, as I said very recently again, in Farnborough report, a couple of years ago, they say a nanomaterial is 99.9999, with the best absorber. And when I answer to them, the 1% is the hit which hits the atom itself. And it reflects back that it cannot 100% because the space gap some go through, but this doesn't go. So, this is the same as when we call nanotechnology, what we call creation of black holes that emit light, because it's a capacitance or interface. Either way, you get release of energy. But it's not from what they say, cosmos and God's energy and the rest of it. Now we understand it, it's very easy. You fill a cup to a point, and when the cup overflows, you you cannot put any more in it. Then it empties itself to love. It's not the rays of cosmos. It's whatever he accepts and potentially does. The I would like to clarify um, the nano coating or this black body emits in traditional physics infrared radiation. Uh, no, it low. doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It emits every radiation. It emits whatever has a surplus. You decide to measure the infrared. I can show you above gamma ray. From this black material, I can show you cosmic rays. And you can create it as a superconductor material in communication. I've done it. It's very easy. Don't forget, I'm the only Iranian nuclear physicist that American forced to buy a gamma radiation detector and they permitted the Belgian government to supply it to me. And we still couldn't read it because it was higher. We're going to the cosmic level. <clears throat> if you work with the nanomaterials the way we understand them, we work, they meet full spectrum, but you have to know where you're looking for it. And as far as I understood, this full spectrum release with another full spectrum release combined is what you are using to, what you are calling magra fields, which can be used to create matter and the interaction with the human body and everything else, because that's not how really, no, no. No, it's like no, it doesn't work, to... work that way. It doesn't work that way. No. Isn't it uh, a fertilization like with light, a, a ray of light coming in and no. getting entangled in those fields that are emitted from the nano coating? No, no, no. It's your theory is 100, 180% wrong way. Opposite to what it is. If you understood the structure of the magraphs, if you understood the structure of how I use nanomaterial, what you're talking about does not apply at all. You've got to understand how we use the magraph system. I told you, nobody has understood magraphs and nanotechnology which are brought in. You work outside the nanomaterial, you harness energy which is outside the nanomaterial. Nanomaterial is like a tube. We got, we, we are used to um, having a tube to follow energies like water or whatever through it, yeah? With a nanomaterial, you do what's in the space, not what you want to push or absorb from it. It's the field interaction, you create a channel, you create a pipe. It's 180 opposite to what you're talking about. We absorb energy in it, but it doesn't do what you're saying as a function. That's how I told you, a lot of people have not understood the work of nanomaterials and the true work of nature. We are not creating something to go inside. We're creating separation zone from outside on the magnetic field level. You're looking what's inside, I look what I hold outside, 
by the fields they created. This nano layer creates a field which gives me a channel to put what I want to put through it, not what you think is going to be absorbed here. This is so huge that it needs, as you said, a lot of energy and to see whatever it means. But if you know how to get it through, you never see the energy there. I'm talking nano about those layers on top of the material, the radiation. I'm not talking about the nano layers. Once once no, they start the emitting those fields, they they are you have the, no. only the fields that you're working with. It's like yes, the, but no, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. The fields are containers. They are not creators or releases of energy. They are holders. This is the problem. When you use, uh, they, are, they are not the source, that those fields are not no gamma ray. All the fields above a nano layer is a cosmic ray. Now you learn something new. All the fields above any, you touch any nanomaterial, all that fields above it is cosmic ray. Above cosmic ray we know. You explained this, that the deuterium is the converter of those universal fields to what we consider the matter state. This is why we've been talking about these nano layers so much in the plasma group, because you've been pointing us into this uh, into the direction of these yeah. higher yeah. level lights. Yeah, higher level lights. Just you don't have a deuterium on top of the copper layer when you have a nano copper. You understand? Deuterium. When you speak, we talk deuterium as an energy pack, not deuterium as a matter state. Yes, Big the difference. difference between carbon-14 and carbon-12, as explained in the June yeah. uh, plasma times. Yeah. But, yeah, but the cosmic rays we talk about, it's got nothing to do, there are the floaters of the packages on it. You can float a carbon-14 in these field layers, just above uh, what you call nano layers. You it's it's the way your blood system works that's why your blood doesn't stick to your uh, way that's what it does creates a very high level cosmic field that the blood floats over it and what I wanted to explain with this whole uh, thing is that through the potential difference of the fields that are on top of the nano layer and the other material that we put in its vicinity, we create this plasmatic gradient that starts the feeding. So, depending on how, uh, or the, in a way, you are right, but in a way, um, you cannot, as we say in English, you cannot take. You can, you can take the horse to the water, you cannot force it to be fed, to drink. You create a condition, but it, your nano layers inside will dictate what interference outside is, it is, and doesn't allow anything to come or interfere with, or float over. Uh, you're partially correct. But, in totality, uh, it's a bigger story behind it. A bigger operation of the work behind it. Everything which is above, literally above, any nano ray, it doesn't matter how you produce it, is cosmic ray. If you hold a nanomaterial between your fingers, don't touch it, move it up and down, you tell me what sensation you get.
it's uh, it's when you try to put everything to one, simplified, it doesn't work. It's a totality you have to look at. And that's why I always push all of you to go to look at totality. Don't get focused on one, this is it, what's going on. It doesn't do that. It does a spectrum of work together because it's a magnetic field position. Every cell positions itself. And how the cell works is different. Uh, what you're talking about is literally what we do in Gans production. We nanocode one plate and we don't nanocode the other plate. And so we create that field fourth position of the uh, nano layer to peel off. And at the same time, you put a plate of the same to block. This is the limitation we want to release. Your non nano coated metal is a point of reference strength. If you move your plates to certain position, you will see your production changes. Why? Some of you say, I cannot make any uh, ganses of copper properly or CO2, and you blame everything else. You don't look at the space can be created between your plates, or how you drain the energy that the plates behave as well. And as another step, just to complete this idea about the potassium releasing fields, light, gamma rays, and uh, uh, interacting with what we have here in the nano coating, there is a potential difference between what you would now say is above the nano coating as a cosmic field and what, for example, the potassium releases in form of gamma ray and through that potential difference of these two lights we are creating the different interactions i think uh, every it's, other it's matter, natural no all the matters do yes this is what i mean i mean all the matters even when we call alpha and beta radiation is also a form of light which is um being released or a form of field that is being released, just with our present detection systems, we have only been taking a look at the matter part of that release. And since every matter is basically constantly in this black body radiation, as classic physics uh, explained earlier, but we can call it a magra field, but not at the cosmic field strength with, as with nano, materials but as we, a lower no, let me let me add to your knowledge you even have cosmic rays inside nano layer any atom any single atom in its spectrum of the fields carries all the energy fields in the universe depends where you cut it how you cut it you can get gamma ray from interaction of the electron and a proton you can get a gamma ray from interaction of the uh, proton and neutron, you can get a full cosmic ray from the same position. This is part of the nuclear decay, half-life. The half-life nuclear decay has totally been explained the wrong way in the present world of physics. It's a lot of, a lot of assumptions in the fields, different fields of the universe. The reason why I brought this up is because you told us you would tell us how things are going in the universe. I mean, when we don't have matter state at, the veil, at our disposal. And you, I, and I you, think we should work with these lights, with the differences of light strengths, whether no. we call them cosmic or neutron level light strengths, or basic units, and through the interaction. Can, I, these can I ask you a question? What does light mean to you? It's the one plasma, it's the light of the no, creator. No, no, what does it mean to you? Is it confirmation of the existence or confirmation of understanding I'm right because I see a light? It's a big difference. I try to open your horizon, not to become close in one way, but why do you need to have, to see, to observe, whatever, to confirm is there, 
when inside you, you know it's there and you understood the principle. Then, if you do that, you go to the next steps of understanding the totality. It's not that I try to tell you you're wrong, you don't understand, no. I want to open your horizon. Don't become narrow-minded that it's this, because they said, or I have to prove. In interaction of all the elements of the universe, be it in the atom, be it inside an atom, be it inside the electron, inside the proton, there's a combination of existence of all the dimensions, strength of the universe. That's why it manifests itself in this universe. Any less, any more, if not everything that it's in different measures, cannot be existing, because it has nowhere to manifest itself. It can only manifest itself, anything, as long as has a common denominator of this universe's strength. And this is, this is what, as people like knowledge seekers like you, is our job to stop you becoming narrow-minded. Because then you can explain something very simple, then it becomes very big. Try to understand the big one, that the small one is easy to do. You understand? And then you see a bigger picture. I do, I do this with my children. You know, they go to school and they show them fraction and these things. I said, no, listen, you learn uh, algebra, basic, you learn the mathematics, basic. Now, let's talk about integration and differentiation and explain to them the volume by differentiation. And he says, Papa, why don't they teach us from the beginning that we can say the whole lot? Because I said, the teacher hasn't understood himself what he's teaching. We showed you the base, but you have to understand the top, and then you see a bigger spectrum, bigger knowledge. And this is what I keep on telling you, you're, you don't understand it fully. It's not, you understood the basic and you're trying to come on the denominator. Open your horizon to a bigger level, beyond the line. And then, it doesn't matter what name God has, if you go to God's dictionary, there's nothing called potassium. It's a man-made name and a man-made energy. So, um, try to take these limitations of cos cosmic ray, gamma ray, or infrared ray away from it. And this word of potassium will do that, calcium will do that, anything will do. You give me hydrogen with a nanomaterial, I'll give you a full spectrum. You give me uranium, I'll still give you the same. Because, in essence, they're all dynamic. Two rotating cartwheels that, in different strength, they touch each other. If you angle it right, you can get gamma rays, cosmic rays, alpha rays, even matter out of it. It's so simple. Don't try, and I keep on telling you, 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 you haven't got it right, it means you haven't understood the totality. And if I tell you, yes, that says you are right, then you become more narrow-minded, because now you have a right, you got to work on it. No, open your horizon, go beyond. And then you see, what you see covers the totality. Doesn't matter you call it the potassium. I can make for you, you've seen it, I made gold out of mercury, for the Japanese. How many years the world science has been trying to change matter to gold? You can make gold out of carbon. But remember, conversion of the energy to mass and the mass to energy? Now you have the conversion of mass to a gans, conversion to its energy, energy to any gans you want, then you have matter. This is part of the teaching you have to understand. I hope you understood. You go from matter to energy. The big part is missed here, which is your matter. You become to a source, you come to a gans. And what this gives is the energy. So this energy can have a gold from, hydrogen from, or potassium. 
Now the extent of knowledge is here. That's where we are. This is what I said uh, in my teachings even a few days ago with the with the Iranians. We have a matter. I've done this many times to you, and then you have a nano. And this is we are very intelligent governments and scientists. We're talking about nano. Keshe Foundation is going to want be be what you call beyond that. Now you speak about ganses, which is the energy source. You can make anything you like. Then you have to understand how this thing works to give you this one or this one or this impact, call it plutonium, and this pack, call it gold. You haven't even learned the composite nano layers yet. Superconductors using nanomaterials. You you have a nanomaterial of copper, you have a nanomaterial of gold, and then this space cap gives you current flow. You put here zinc, that gives you different current flow. You tighten the gap, certain informations can go through. What of science will understand is very soon. So, it's not that this gives, you're 100% wrong, because you don't look at the totality. And if I allow you to become that way, you become more and more talking about, it. this is what Keshe Foundation knowledge is stock. One thing and they go in it, you become like uh, priests, huh? The same paper, read and read and read the same verse and then try to come something in it that confirm you understand more of it than other. Look at the totality, open your horizon. What you say can convert potassium to uh, calcium to potassium, which the body of the man does, is here. Which part we have not understood? You converted this calcium to potassium. What do you want me to give you? Radiation, or do you want me to give you everything else? If you go one level further, we know the property of the silver. In some of the technologies are developed in the people who have a massive infections, you cannot sort. You create a single atomic silver or gold inside their brain, inside their blood, gone. Seconds, because it absorbs, transfers the energy. You have to understand interaction of the fields between elements. In one of the tests very recently, I showed you can, you can put a battery, don't touch anything with it and drain it, reduces energy. Just positioning materials around it the right way, without any connection. Because I want to take it out, because I want to use it somewhere else, or create a airflow of the field. If I tell you, yes, you're right in this, then I stop you thinking and going the right way. You're wrong, 100% wrong, because it means you become narrow-minded. Why calcium changes to potassium? Why thalamus and thymus work together and change calcium to every element you need? Copper for your leg and uh, what you call uh, zinc for your brain and another material, uranium for another part of your body. Now you see how easily I can tell you wrong. Very simple. Open this now, especially we are at this level of teachings, and you understand the operation of the soul, you understand the of emotion, you understand the conversion of energies. These talks should have finished a long time ago. You got the stock in the history of Gans, and then you have to confirm you understand. Now, move on, and then you see totality. I thank you very much. 
and the thing is that the teachings got uh, in terms of Gans creation got stuck at the energy level Ganses of the neutron, deuterium, and tritium, and uh, oh, somehow yeah. since since these are the most connected to all these interactions, even the potassium to argon, potassium to calcium, because of the um, metal level difference of these elements, I thought that maybe these energy level ganses are being created as a byproduct of all these uh, interactions. And uh, now you understand where I'm pushing you, yes? I, I, I thought to push the whole team, everyone. Yeah, no, I know, but you, uh, it's not a team, it's just you, not you as a personally, you as a knowledge seekers. Um, it's to move on. You, with this interaction of the fields, you can create conditions of universe. Move to that level. Don't go back out, changes to matter. Any other question? Got a question from An Anuj. Um, can I ask if this new system is very different in the way it works as compared to the dynamic health unit introduced by Dr. Kloss? Yes. In essence, yes, but in origin, everything is the same. Original dynamic systems was introduced uh, years ago, and Armand developed the version of it for the space. All these dynamic plastic balls you see is the uh, brainchild of Armin. <clears throat> he produced it and taught it to Chanlin to be able to do it. Armin has understood a lot, but he can't put it together. And you know I'm the worst teacher I watch because otherwise it becomes copycat you. And uh, the, the, the process, I could show this technology, what you see now in this system, uh, 10 years ago. Actually, I used it 20 years ago, 19, 2000, the first, when I bought the first centrifuge in Manchester to confirm we can we can do create force the energy to convert itself by magnetic field forces. These hollow balls you see in the uh, in the dynamic cores, I created it in 1970s. I was explaining yesterday to somebody, or somewhere recently, when I was in Manchester in the college, before I got to university, I, they said, you have to do a project. I said, okay, I'll make a radiation detector. I made a radiation detector, and then I said to my college, what do you call it, teacher says, now to show it works, I need a radiation source. He says, we don't have it, we can't keep this, we have something there. So, I had, in 1977-76, to develop a way, in my own way, to create radiation, to show that my detector works. So, you can understand how, 40 years ago, already knew that how to create radiation out of natural materials. Otherwise, we had nothing to refer. We didn't know if it believes or it doesn't believe what we want to blip. Is the radiation Texas has a bleeper and the light. Huh? We could measure going beep, 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 but we couldn't measure what we're measuring. It was all beep, beep, beep. Okay, it does alpha ray and a beta ray, but we couldn't measure what position because we wanted the material. College didn't have it. So I created my own radioactive field. Same as now, I can create cosmic radiation above cosmic radiation, which man has no knowledge of. The, the intergalaxial fields, or what you call inter-universe fields, are beyond all these cosmic rays. 
You still have to learn that. Yes, but you were saying that as long as we're working on frequencies, we're still in the matter state. Yeah. The field of the universe is one field and it works instantaneously everywhere. So uh, how I, I the, this is what you say that we haven't understood is how to switch from this frequency mindset to the universal mindset, the one mindset, which is the universe is the common denominator. Uh. In How the conference, it. it's very easy to do it. We do it. The first time I showed it to somebody, I think they were shocked. But um, if you understand the process, uh, you can get the cosmic fields and matter fields at the same time. Understanding the knowledge. From the same fields, we can get an AC and a DC. From the same wire. You get the AC in the matter state, you get the DC from nano layer, but at the moment we don't produce, we don't have a system so thin that it can go between the layers of nano, that it can give us that current. It's a it's consciousness question. Um, it's not like, consciousness. No way. It's not consciousness. It's understanding the truth. As long understanding as are, the knowledge of creation. Put it that way. Yes, as long as we are soul of the body and soul of in our head, we are AC. Once we go to DC, we why have do you buy the battery and your uh, telephones at DC? Uh, are you a camel bird or a bird camel? If you are an AC, why do we have DC systems? So it's there, we know it's there. <laughs> uh, let me explain to you something else, maybe you understand. If you take neural system, Neurosystem work on a DC. If you work on a blood flow, power energy, it works continuously on a AC. The interaction of the two fields of AC and DC on a common denominator field strength gives the the matter state. what repeats on the upper atmosphere of this planet, which the fields of the Earth and the Sun create the energy fields, are continuously created between the interaction between the nerve, uh, current through the nerves, and the flow of the blood. And as we say, conversion of the matter at the point of manifestation is the energy of strength. So, the lymph is that inertial strength in that point and converts itself to matter. So, now, what, what, which part we don't understand? Or everything has to be a calcium or the potassium. The, the creation of the cell of the man, if you understand it, if you have a, if you get your nerve cut, and you still got the blood flow going, you're paralyzed. But the skin is still makes things. You still have the finger grown, but you lost the nerve. But if you take the blood flow out, it rots. Because its AC is missing to convert itself to matter state. If you cut your nerve, take it out, Nothing happens, but if you cut your blood vessel flow, you, you die, or you get gangrene, or whatever. Because the AC side is missing. Converting the energy into matter state. And then it manifests itself as a gans of the cell of the toe, or whatever. Understand the total knowledge.
Shall we call it the day? Or is there more questions? Well, maybe a couple of more quick ones. Uh, Dan asks, what is the um, strength of the Maghreb of the Earth and how can I measure or reproduce it? What? What is the Maghreb strength of the Earth and how can I measure or reproduce it? From Dan. You repeat, I don't understand. Uh, Dan's asking uh, what the Maghreb uh, strength of the earth is and how that could be measured or reproduced. Oh, it's measured continuously by NASA. You get the uh, NASA regularly and the other, I think Russians do it still. I haven't noticed it in a long time. They, they release, as we said, and sometimes we brought it up, they release the gravitational field of the Earth and magnetic field of the Earth on a daily basis. From the satellites? Field strength detectors. You can go on there, and go on to Google and bring it up. What is the gravitational field of the Earth today? You go it's there. always uh, moving and changing. No, it's dynamic. Yeah? It depends the material and the fields moving. There's another question from um, Anuj about uh, the buying of this system. Can uh, will physicians be able to um, get in contact with the Keshe Foundation doctors before buying this system? Mm. <laughs> What reason? For what reason? Yeah, so I was wondering too. Um, but you mentioned, I think there'll be a training uh, period. What we are doing, it. yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Rick. Uh, let me explain this. Um, those who, doctors who buy the system or join up with groups to run the systems will be given a part of the medical training on the one week, two week courses on the Keshe Foundation health side, medical side. But we don't teach it to all those who come there as a medical. If you have, you, 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 we are watching exactly this to understand what's going on, but we train the doctors to be able to use it. If you decide or want to do, um, to move on and get these systems for your, what do you call it, town or city and put it or whatever, um, we give all the support, teaching and training. And uh, as you know, when it comes to that teaching now, we move you to, to global, because global, has a director of what they call health, uh, and uh, uh, everything will be organized through him and his advice, because he's, he understands technology fully. And so, in that side, Global takes lead, not cash foundation, in training and what they call it, supervising how the technology develops internationally, on a medical application, on research and development, and the rest of it. Now, every one of you can be the cause and bringer of the technology to the people. And health is one thing which literally opens the technology to public. When I have a pain and I go in the system, I come without pain, doesn't matter, anybody else is there with the work, the system works. If I'm paralyzed, or on, I've seen a wheelchair, and in four days, three days, I can walk, nobody can say. You know, one of the doctors uh, in this group, he is so negative about everything because it's against all his teaching, but he's very open-minded in so many ways. He said, these people improve because they do so much exercise. I said, they can't do the exercise if you don't build the brain to be for the exercise to be done. So we put anybody who can walk on exercise, they walk. All the people politics will do, because we, of course, cannot do. You build the brain, and the brain allows you to do the exercise. Not vice versa. And um, 
you got to learn the, the technology, understand technology. We train the doctors to do, and I'm sure doctors will bring more and more for us to learn from. As I always said, this knowledge is a thousand steps, we haven't gotten a step one yet. And you can see how many people we still lost by the first, before we get on the first step. In going our hands and knees, we lost half, and standing up, another half, because they wanted to make the Keshe Foundation a religious group, so they had a Guru, and the Guru wasn't there. You see, recently, since we start commercializing, a lot of people don't want to be around the Foundation, because they were looking for another, uh, what do they call it, Prophet, and the Prophet is not there. Not the understands their own strength. We do everything possible to break down this man's weakness to have a leader, or to have a guru, or to have a whatever you call. We share knowledge, and that has to be our strength. Look at this system, understand it. As I said, we keep these prices till January, and doesn't matter how, whatever, It'll pop up to 500,000, and never go to 1 million, and then, with all the auxiliary parts, which goes with, as I said, you can buy the, what do you call, the T-shirts. We try to bring the auxiliaries to as low, literally, cost price, uh, to 5 and 10 dollars, all the pads, which is needed for it, all the, whatever you see, we bring it down to the minimum price that, um, Governments can afford supporting, and you can buy it on the Keshe Foundation website. In some cases, your transport or shipping will be more than the product, but this is how it should be. What we used to sell as T-shirts in Italy, will go around about five and nine dollars plus shipping. We drop everything down that the governments can support the use of the technology for accessories. And we don't let more than one or two be bought by each group, that we don't create dealers. It's all done, we already have started that in China. You can buy all the, whatever I've shown you, like the paint pad and paint pen and all that, is going to be used, but now we make it as a, at a level, that is used in conjunction with the system, and those who will benefit by they can change it. So, um, we, we have tapped into new resources that allows us to do this. So you can buy the components, even like this water maker, which you put things on it, it'll be sold very, very, very cheap, very soon, at about one or two dollars. Because then we can support it we can support the next step, that governments can support it. We make our uh, profits uh, out of sharing, not out of uh, pushing things through. I read you something very interesting coming from our team from the hospitals. This is a patient which had no hope in a way, and he could see his life diminishing. He says, he said to his mother on subway the day before yesterday, I will beat you, mom. In four years, I'll be fine. A boy who had no hope, now he can live. And it's nice when you see the emotion changes, when you see these systems change the whole totality of that. Any other question? <coughs> 
<clears throat> I'm sure there'll be continuous questions. Um, there is one from Mark that's a bit long here, but um, I'd like to just maybe uh, introduce it. He says what if, is it? it's in the Q and A from Mark um, Anderson. He says if the beautiful people were created in the womb of the mother with more than one soul in the physicality, as you indicated. One advisor to nine presidents had nine personalities. And you said only one soul in the enhancement at a time right now, although you mentioned a unit for families today. Would the beautiful people who are currently institutionalized benefit from a future system? I sense they are not forgotten in your calculations. Or do we leave it for the doctors to develop systems or adjust to it? What do you mean, Dr. Anderson? I guess he's asking if the beautiful people who are currently institutionalized would benefit from a, a future system. Or do we leave it how up to can you? How can you benefit a healthy man? <laughs> They're healthy. It's us who are sick. I wrote this to the Chinese doctors, the team of doctors I work with there, in advising them because they brought a, a patient, they were considering to accept a patient, and the patient was given, I don't know, four or five medicine for schizophrenia. And I explained what is schizophrenia. None of the doctors ever made a comment because now they had to accept a new level. Because most probably they give these to their own patients, their own brain and psychological doctors in this team. Have they accepted it? Or they still have to fight because the book they read wasn't is not what they read here. You have to put them into the machine for them to change their mind. Why, why you want me to bring nine men out from one man? No, I'm talking about the doctors. Yeah, we have got a lot to say about doctors. Maybe uh, the doctors should be the first patient of the machine. <laughs> mm, maybe. <laughs> Mandatory first patient. Um, there was a question from Anuj, uh, will there be access of results for physicians to learn about the miracles that this new system will create? I tell you, just coming from a team of doctors is just the last few minutes. It says, empty cash, hello. The system you have developed will be useful for systematic observation of these three patients. The therapeutic effects way forward, bringing good news to thousands of people suffering from these four diseases because we are considering Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, epilepsy, and depression. On this basis, we should continue to sum up our experiences and do great job that benefits mankind and make us bigger and stronger. The physicians have a start understanding the gravity of what is bringing. These are doctors, the team of doctors who work with us. And uh, interesting is that how open-minded those who lose their titles will be. Uh, and they allow the change to come through. In my talk for the Iranian scientists and working through the governments on Tuesday, I, I am outspoken in my way, especially the Iranian doctors who are in Iraq, Rouhani and Ali, sometimes don't like my outspoken. They try to keep, to take a distance that, it might do something wrong, but it turns out to be good at the end of it somewhere. Or bad, I don't know, because I don't see either of it sometimes. Is that 
we have to accept that this technology has arrived. Yes, you can change the posture of upcoming events, yeah. Or you can put the machine on, please. Either way, you're happy. So, you have to remember um, the status quo stays the same till these guys get sick and then they want to change. And if they can get away with it, they become more arrogant. And if they get hunted by it, they get haunted by it. So, as you know, the all the world leaders, most of the world leaders are sick. Physically or psychologically. And the irony is, knowing they're, f they're so feeble, they're still trying to dominate and try to force their view that the last day they're alive, they do something that confirms their existence. As we know, most of you have seen with the Chan Chairman Chancellor, we know the Turkish President has a cancer of kidney. We know other world leaders have many diseases. We see with the American President, there is a lot of um, concern about the state of health, which is not in public. There is a lot of well, concern about most of these world leaders. And when they get there, they try to, we see it with the ex president of Venezuela. He was dying to the last minute he had to prove he's in power. Even he brought his nation to his death. We see David Mugabe just the last few days died. What he did at the pre in Nigeria. It's, I think, one of the first things when we take these machines into operation of the government, has to be the world leaders to go in these machines. It has to become compulsory, then they lead correctly. I think you have to have a certification that you've been through this elevation of the soul, when you become a leader. Then we allow you, because then you, 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 elevate, you do what we do, you think what we think. These things will change in time, but um, as I said, the change has come, the systems are here, it's not a pen and a pencil and something, Magrav doesn't work. Those who tell me Magrav doesn't work, first of all, you heard our friends, the saving in Mexico, we know in Czech Republic, ice cream factory, and we know our US friends in research, they just managed to create a generator in such a funny way, I was laughing when I was looking at it yesterday, but in totality, uh, our goal is to make life for human race a better place within the soul of the man, not within the physicality of a house or a street. And let's see where we go, it's, it's a beautiful day, it's a fantastic day. As I said, we'll meet you, we'll show you in Brazil, another new technology revolutionary in but if you want to see the real magic, go to the Iranian Embassy and get your visas. You will see what we promised. That's my gift to my nation. Try to understand, if we can, if you can, support the spread of this new system, support it and spread it. In either way, you'll come to help the others, and mankind accepts when it comes to health. And we try to do it, we try to hold it in that level. And I'm very, very, I'm not, I'm not apologetic, I'm thankful that those who wanted to make a religion out of the Keshe Foundation, and they were looking for a guru, they had to move on. As we all teach and we all learn at the same time. See us in same level of light of understanding the knowledge, and we expand it. I think this new system will open all the doors and channels in the world for all of us. 
because as I said, it's not just elevation of physicality, but it's the soul of the man. And I promise you, we put a camera, you see at night when there's nobody in hospital, the world leaders and the presidents with their diseases and their families will go to where this thing is to get in to see if it works. But I have a very bad news for it. If your fingerprint and your iris does not match with our database, it will not switch on. Thank you very much for today. And please remember, we, um, especially for Mexico and the Brazil, we dropped the registration fee to what is locally accepted to run about six hundred dollars. It's not one thousand five hundred. It was in Austria. We price according to the local environment we go to. And um, in so many ways, you try to take the knowledge to your governments that they attend these conferences, they open their eyes and we see totality what we're going to do. Thank you very much for today and it will be nice to go out with the repetition of the the video, the animation. <laughs> I was about to suggest the exact same thing there, Mr. Kesh, so got that lined up here. Thank you very much. Most probably see you in Brazil. We can see your desktop. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. There's something's happening with the share. It won't allow me to share because uh, somebody else is trying to share at the same time, I think. Here. There we go. Third time's the charm, as they say. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Kesh, for today's workshop. Very um, fantastic news. What a beautiful unit that you have designed and ready to go. Uh, this is amazing and a wonderful uh, news. Thank you. I think everybody thanks you for this by the looks of it. Okay, I'll play the video and then we'll uh, exit the workshop. Innovative, revolutionary, stellar development, purest universal knowledge. In a transformative, futuristic design, the Universal Body Enhancement Spaceship Unit. The very first new evolutionary spaceship technology has been rolled out for mass production. Our Universal Body Enhancement Spaceship Unit is constructed from high-quality materials carefully selected by our team of experts. Embedding the essence of the new GANS plasma science and technology, it uses collective plasma field technology for changing and enhancing the environment of the body of the man. This new plasma enhancement changes the environment of the body to allow it to return to its natural balanced energetic condition, as in the womb of the mother, allowing every cell in the body of the man to find its natural original field strength balance. The shape and field distribution in this new space plasma technology replicates the inner structure of the universe and replicates the balanced fields from which the man was created at the point of inception in the womb of the mother, not only receiving balance in the physical, but also in the emotional sense too. For the first time in the history of man, a system has been developed and delivered, which not only enhances the physical body of the man, but also enhances the emotional part of the user of the system. Hence reducing and eliminating many problems that could not be solved in the world of science. To bring the body of the man into near perfection, as at the time of birth. This new spaceship technology can be within the reach of every man today, and can be ordered by medical practitioners, sports specialists and healthcare centres. 
The Universal Enhancement Spaceship Unit, the future you have been waiting for, is here. The journey from space to spaceship technology has started. Every order is subject to a contractual agreement and might require additional accessories priced separately for applications according to each case. You can order or contact us at office at at.kfm.global for additional information.